So, did you manage to get your bush trimmed? No, he came over to give me a quote, but said he needed a bigger pair of clippers. You want lasagna? Yes, that's me. And your pasta salad? Yeah, that's me. Uh, thank you. Uh, could I have just a little bit of salt and pepper, please? Eh? The salt and pepper, please? Yeah, that's all you want, eh? A little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper? Um, well, yes, please, if I could. So I slave all day, and then you come in here, and you want the salt and the pepper? I'm sure your food is wonderful. I just have a personal preference for salt and pepper. You're crazy. You're crazy English and your crazy things. I get your salt and pepper, I take your lasagna, and I get you the salt and the pepper. Okay? Thank you. He was a bit eccentric. Well, that's fashionable now, isn't it? Ah, that crazy English piggy just wants salt and pepper. So, he's coming back to trim your bush. Well, he said he's got some big tools, but I'll have to see what he can fit up my back passage. Eh, hey, English. Bon appetit, eh? Oh. Why, you not like it? Well, I didn't want just salt and pepper. Well, that's what you say. You say, uh, just the salt and just the pepper. But yes, but I mean, obviously, I didn't mean just a bit of salt and pepper on a plate. I came here for a meal. Ah, uh, so now you know what? A little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Well, I... I slave all day, and I bring you this, and you crazy English, you say, no, 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 my mama, my mama, she said this would happen, she say, Enrico, and Enrico is my brother, he, she's, he blind as a bat, my mother, she say, Enrico, she say, you leave Italy, you die, you die cold and alone in drain, and that's what she say, and now you, 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 you make this happen. I only wanted condiments. Eh? I give you the condiments, I give you the lasagna, and I give you this, I give you the shot off my back, eh? I really don't want your shirt. You eat this, eh? This nice to eat. You eat. I sweat for you. I slave for you in the kitchen. So now you eat my shirt. My mother, she died in this shirt. And when she died, she said, Paolo, Paolo, Paolo was my papa. He dead, but she didn't know. So we had him stuffed. Paolo, Paolo, she said, you take my clothes and you'll be that pasta Paris. Look, I'm sorry, I just wanted a bit of salt and pepper. I really didn't want all this fuss. Ah, make the fussy, huh? You worry about all the food, and I don't want making the fussy. No, no, you you know what the pasta, you eat the shirt. I'm not eating your shirt. You think my shirt's not good enough for you, huh? My grandfather, he make this shirt out of his own eyelashes. He plucked them out every morning for 30 years, and he put them in a pot, then he lose the pot and have to start again. You not eat the shirt, you spit on my grandfather's grave, you want to come into my restaurant and spit on my grandfather's grave, you eat the shirt, you eat the shirt, you eat the shirt! Darling, I think maybe it would be best if you just ate the shirt. Don't be ridiculous. The man's clearly mad. I'm not eating his shirt. Oh, you not eat the shirt. You spit on my grandfather's grave, then I but on your grandfather's grave. I find your grandfather, I kill him with a spoon, and then I wait until they bury him, and then I spit on his grave, and then I kill your other grandfather with a different spoon, and then I spit on his grave. Oh, for God's sake, I'll eat the shirt. Ah, buenissimo, the lady eat the shirt. Here, your shirt, madame, it's very tasty, very tender, you enjoy. Uh, Can I have a little bit of salt and pepper? 